It's a common sight with an uncommon twist. Buddhist monks collecting alms during the pre-dawn hours in rural Thailand. But beneath these saffron robes are women. Female monks are not recognized by Thailand's Buddhist leadership or by the government. In 1928, the Thai Buddhist Supreme Patriarch banned them. Even though the constitution guarantees religious freedom, the government has always supported the 90-year-old declaration. Despite this, the number of female monks is growing. When Tamat Nanta was the first Thai woman to be ordained. She had to go to Sri Lanka because it's the only Theravada Buddhist country that allows it. She runs a temple for female monks 60 kilometers from Bangkok. We have not done anything against the law. So that, that's why right now, after 17 years of my ordination, now you have more than 270 women ordained. One top-ranking male monk in Bangkok feels these types of temples for women, called Pikkuni, should be shut down. They refer to the constitution that says they are allowed. But religion is not like law. Law can be amended any time. But with Buddhist rules, this is wrong. They cannot be Pikuni. A member of the Thai Human Rights Commission says that the government's approach to the Pikuni issue is done with one eye closed. The monks have made several failed attempts to become officially recognized. Herself an ordained novice, Sutada Mekrun Rilgun, thinks the issue of female monks needs to be properly revisited. The resistance has come from the state. They always uh, refer to the uh, Supreme Patriot letter in 1928. Despite the growing number of Pikuni, there's a difference of opinion among Thais. It's Thai people's nature. Whoever behaves themselves gracefully and respectfully, we would just respect them. And the Pikuni, they behave well and deserve our respect. As I see it, the temple should be shut down because it's not right. It looks inappropriate. To Wen Tamat Nanta, not only are Pikuni helping the community and setting an example for all monks in Thailand, but as women, they are better equipped to deal with the contemporary social issues that have not been addressed by either the government nor the Buddhist leadership. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.